Hello everyone, it is Wednesday. Welcome to the next episode for our Dino Charge or our Kyo Ryuger Mini Flow Review. We're going to be looking at the Plesiozord or Plezoan and his combinations uh, with Gabutira and some of the other guys. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to get to the table in just one second right after I let you guys know. As always, thank you very much for being here. I really do appreciate it and I hope you guys have had a week that has been pleasant and happy so far. Internet stuff we gotta get out of the way. Go ahead and like, comment if you feel to, and subscribe if you're new. And that's about it. So let's get to the table. Tom's here with his toys. He's here to share. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to Wednesday. Today we will be looking at Plezuan or the Plezio Zord. And so let's get him in. Oosh. Plesio Zord here, Plus One, is very much a rocket ship in its regular mode. It does have an attack mode, and in the attack mode what we'll do is you flip down these, like so, and it reveals some flippers, and this is its dinosaur mode. Its serious mode, I guess, is uh, kind of this. Kind of works. Not really. But this is its kind of a, in its dinosaur mode here. And let's see. It has, like I said, it does have a, uh, on Monday, it does have a mech form. To do that, we need to do a bit of parts forming. So we need to actually remove this, and we need to remove this. We need to remove this piece. Take a close look at the head while I have it off. If the camera will focus. Come on, camera. There we go. Um, yeah, mouth opens on this. Uh, this review was actually going to be a little bit of a rough one because uh, the stickers on this guy are all coming off. Like, all of them. <laughs> I've been sticking stickers back down on it all day today trying to make them stay for this review. So this will be one of the first ones I paint, to be very honest, out of all my guys, will be plus one. This is the uh, Judenchi here, or the battery. Uh, I don't think it says, no, it doesn't say plus one on it. But in the show, the uh, show on the toy, you would put it in, and as you can see, this is actually back. This part would be up here, you would hold the trigger and push it back, and it would load the Judenchi in. Remove that. We need to remove this and this and this. Then you can straighten it out, separate the legs, turn it around, lower this, and kind of flail them off to the side a little bit, like so. And then, let's see what we do next. We will attach the arm here, so this one goes on this side. Now, you could attach this one to this side, but that is not how it's supposed to go. Instead, what we'll do is we're going to turn around and we're going to tab it in onto the back, like so. So, let's put on the feet. One foot. Gets big old feet. Two feet, like so. Uh, this piece will attach back here. And then we just have to put on the head and put on the other arm. The other arm is the head of the rocket ship or robot or dinosaur mode. And this is used as a gun in the show. You would cock it one, two, three, and then fire. And then the head. Before we put it on, though, let's go ahead and move this up. Got two holes, so you just put it in the top hole, and that reveals the head. There you go. Not too bad a head. And snap that on like so. And this is Plezu O, or the Plezo Charge Megazord. Kind of like it. It's cool. Uh, it does have a bit more. 
articulation than some of the others. It's actually got elbows, has knees, legs move in, and, uh, and there you go. Got that on there. Does not have a waist though, and that is due to its transformation one and the other thing it does. So in the show, um, it can of course combine with any of the arms, but you know, one of the first arms it shows it using is Bunpaki. So you would have the uh, plesio Paki or plesio hammer or something like that, and sticker for one of the back of the rockets. Awesome. It's like it just, they're just not staying to the plastic, so yeah. <laughs> I've already had some of the stickers of the face fall off, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Oh, sorry, camera. And then we can just pop this back on back here. Tab them together. It's a tap together. Turb. Okay, whatever. Like that. Now it does have a combination with Gabutira, who I already set up. And this way, and all you're basically doing is the legs, everything else stays in its dinosaur mode, like so. And Boon Paki. So we got this going. And let's get Boon Paki ready. And we'll get him ready. So first, let's remove the head again. Boop. Okay, and that's ready to go. We need to remove the please your head. We need to remove the feet. Move the arms here. Move this. Uh, on the back of the legs, we have these parts here. We need to flip out like that. And then next, we want to actually attach the fists onto the body here, like so. And on the fist, we have these tabs we want to swing out as well. There we go. And then we want to swing the arms down like this. And then the legs will swing out. Like so. We are going to attach it to... Oh, Gabotier here just over where the head normally goes, like that. And then these tabs are going to go into little holes on the side of Gabutira to hold it in place, like that. So we got that going on. Next, um, let's see what we do next. This piece, we want to attach like so onto where the arms normally attach to. So we just pat down like this, like that, and that'll give us our waist. Then we want to take the feet and we'll pop them onto Gabotira's feet and give him brand new shoes. Give him some rocket shoes. There we go. So we got that. And finally, we'll give him some arms before we do the head. Boon Pocky goes on here. You, of course, can use any of the, uh, the dinosaur arms, but this is the official look. This goes on this side. And what did I knock off this time? I knocked off this. Man, like I said, these stickers. Oh, boy, these stickers. I think that is my only complaint about this set. In order to make the set really work, you're going to have to be willing to paint it from, or at least use glue on the stickers. Okay, and then we attach the head like so, and then we open up this portion here, and there you go. This is the new look. And this is, I have it written down because it was one of those things where Tom will forget. This is the Bakuratsu Kyuryujin, or the Plesio Charge Megazord Paki Rex Formation. 
I kind of like this one. It is different. It is big. Here's our buddy next to him. So, you know, gets a bit of height. But it's fun. Um, like I said, the, the major downside to any of these sets so far has been the stickers for me. Uh, I can live without elbows, you know. This guy doesn't have elbows, really. He's got knees on a shoulder that you can play with, but he doesn't have elbows. You know, but it's still a really cool looking combination. Kind of looks like the uh, Plesio guy is riding Gabutira. I like it. Um, all the articulation that Gabutira uh, has legwise is there, so knees, hips, foot. Uh, the arms will move, can move up and down. You know, you can move them around that way. Head turns, and that is it. There is no waist. And there are no elbows. So, very cool. This is, uh, you know, you can put on any of the guys on the arm still. Um, and before I forget, since I've been doing it for most of the videos, uh, Plezuan is a combination of its dinosaur, which is the Plesiosaurus, and the word Zun, Z U O N which is the Japanese onomatopoeia for zoom. So it is the uh, zooming plesiosaur, which makes sense since it is technically a rocket ship. So there you go. Rawr. I, like, I actually might display it this way once I get it painted, because it'll look kind of fun. Um, on Friday, we will be looking at Bragagius. And Monday we'll be looking at the uh, Spinosaurus guy. And then that's it. And then we'll have to figure out what to do after that. So, thank you very much for hanging out, guys. I hope you had a good one. We will see you on Friday. Bye.